Now, string.equals is not the most complicated Java string method, but it's a method you want to be very familiar with if you're taking a class, whether that's APCSA or a college course. And the reason you want to know it well is that it shows up unbelievably often on exams. So what exactly is the point of string.equals? Why can't you just write the code this way? So you can take this code and go run it yourself, and it certainly seems to work. It's going to tell you that S1 and S2 are equal, and they are equal. So what's the problem here? The problem is that this double equals never actually compares what's inside the strings. It just looks at the memory addresses. Now, due to how Java handles strings, actually S1 and S2 in this case point to the same immutable string. So it looks at the memory addresses, it says, OK, same memory address, these two are equal. But it never actually looks at the characters inside the strings. Here's some slightly altered code to show you why double equals is not such a good idea. What I've done here is on line 2, I've kind of gone out of my way to make sure S2 points to a different string in memory that still contains the exact same characters. Now the double equals is going to tell me that these are not equal, even though these two strings are as equal as two strings could ever be. So to fix this, we're going to use dot equals. Now this code will tell me that these two strings do equal each other. Now what if I have a null value for S2, and I call S1.equals S2? Is that going to crash, or will it be fine? It's going to be fine. It'll just tell us that they're not equal to each other, which they're not. And the code I'm showing here will also tell us that these two strings are not equal. Now switch that up and make S1 null and S2 non-null. What's going to happen now if I say S1.equals S2? Now that crashes. That is a null pointer exception. A null pointer exception will happen anytime you do null dot anything. What the dot really does in Java here is it's going to go to an object and get something out of that object. But you can't get anything out of an object that does not exist, so you get a null pointer exception here. Like I said, the people who write exams just love putting dot equals, especially with strings, on exams. So know about this and actually you can recognize those questions and make sure you get those points. My name is John, and I like helping students get those points, and I really like helping people understand what happens when they run their code. 